Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Ange and I'm here to do my monthly work your apps off update and my goals update uh, from the month of March. I hope you all had a great month in the month of March. Uh, March was a good month for us. I can't complain. Um, today was a beautiful day here in Colorado so I was excited about that. I got a nice walk in. Tell me down below how you guys are doing and how you did for March with your apps. All right, let's get started. So first, Pogo. Pogo is an app. Um, you can do receipt scanning. You can link a card and collect that way. They have games. They have location bonuses. It's a great app. Um, I increased from 39.39 points to 5,884. I'm using this cover. Uh, it's from Girl Mama Budgets and some of her freebies, but I just love it. And the sticker is from my friend Liz at Liz and Liz. All right, Evidation, I went from 2,500 points to 3,760. That's a workout app. All of the links will be down below. I would love it if you would consider using my referral codes. If you use my code, you'll, you'll start with bonus points. I'll get bonus points, it'll be um, great. Um, if you have other apps that you see I'm not using, please suggest them down below. Also, I have a Facebook group called Work Your Apps Off for Christmas. I will put the link below. I would love to have you join us. There's lots of people on it, over a thousand people, and they all contribute. It's pretty cool. All right. Receipt Jar, I went from 822 points to 2,099. Shopkick, I went from 674 points to 3,300. Receipt Pal, I went from 3,800 to 5,600. And so now I have a total of 20,732 points, which was about a 7,000 point jump from February or January and February. All right. Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Frisbee is a receipt scanning app and I went to, I got to 4,170 points. Bridge is another uh, app where you link your card and you collect points. I went to 661. They have a daily spin that you can use to collect points. So that helped me up my points. Uh, swag bucks. I went from 256 points to 1,522 points. I'm really enjoying this app. And I also have $40 from previous months in gift cards. Bing slash start. There's two different options in there. Uh, Bing, I'm up to 13,534 points, which is good for about a $5 gift card. And start from receipt scanning, I'm at, I'm at $2.04. This app was better last year, but they mixed with some other apps, so you can't double dip anymore, which is fair. Product Tube, I'm still at the $20. I just haven't went back in there to see what else I can do. But in this group, for a total of 19,887 points, $60 in gift cards, and $2.04 in cash. I'm gonna sneeze, I'm sorry. Achoo! Okay. I'm gonna try to cover it. I keep showing you guys all my goods here. That sounded weird, sorry. Okay, Fetch, I went from 4,900 to 11,482. Receipt Hog, I got up to 3,240. Maryfield, 6516. Coin Out, I got uh, $16 in gift cards total and uh, 2,400 points. Cash Walk, I cashed in for $5 in gift cards and I'm up to 1,500 points. And so that gives me $21 in gift cards and 25,200 points in this group. All right. And then in Lolly, I have $17.62. Shopmium, $2. Alexa, $2 gift card. Racky, ten $4.67. And I bought them up to $58.40. I will be cashing that out soon. So $2 in gift cards and $82.69 in cash. And in this one, Eureka, I've cashed out for $13.43. I currently have $4.97 in there, and you can cash out every $5. For every $5 you cash out, you get a survey back for with two questions for $1.50, and then you start over. Uh, check out 51, I have $5.98. You need $20 to cash out. The Miles app, I have $11.25. I've cashed out for gift cards, and I'm currently at 2,300 points. So that gives me a total of 2,300 points, $11.25 in gift cards, and $24.38 in cash. So doing pretty good. Not as good as last year, but I'm still happy with it. Um, 
I am saving for Christmas in a sinking fund as well, but it's always good to have extra and to have gift cards. All right, let's go over my goals. All right, so for March, for the car, my goal for the year is to pay $10,000 in principal payments. In March, I paid, uh, for my first round of payments, I paid $274.94 and $166.77. And the second round of payments, I pay every two weeks, uh, $274.94 and $169.95. So a total of $885.70 was paid in March. March was a magic month. And we've paid a total of 37, I'm sorry, we've paid a total of 2,800, that is not correct. Oh, $3,708.85, so we're at 37.8% of our goal. And our car balance went from $20,779 to $19,893, so under the 20K mark, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, CD ladder. I opened my final CD ladder for April with $61 from my side hustle binder. I am planning on updating all my CD ladder documents and showing that in a video later in this month so you guys can see. Dividends. My goal is to make $100 in dividends for the year. Um, I am doing a new series on Instagram on dividends. I was going to try to do a video and I couldn't figure it out. So now I'm just doing it on Instagram. So feel free to go follow me on Instagram. I posted one today um, that I'm using somebody else's advice and showing my results. Um, my Instagram is Ange Budget and Debt. And I would love it if you'd go check it out and follow me. All right. So in March, we collected $9.98 in dividends for a total for the year of $27.54. So we're at 27 0.54% of our goal. Apps, I have collected $109.11 in cash, $94.25 in gift cards for a total of $203.36 or 20.3%. So because we're one quarter in, I should be about 25% in all of my categories. So I am low in some of them and I'm high in some of them and that's just how it works. All right, for my IRA, my goal is to put in more than last year. I was using $500 as my number, but I did recently look, and I actually put in over almost $800 last year, so I'm going to have to change my percentages. I just want to be upfront and honest. Anyway, I put in $100 for March, so the total for $175 for the year, which is 35% of the $500 goal, but as you just heard, I'm going to change that because I shorted it by $300. All right, my side hustle, my goal for my side hustle was to make $2,000 this year, which is about $148 a month, give or take. Um, in um, March, I made $241.68, and a lot of that is thanks to you guys and getting a YouTube check for January and February, but also uh, my side hustle of deliveries. So for the year, I have made $579.14, which puts me at $28.95. 28.95%. I lost my mind for a minute there. So doing okay on my goals. My apps are below, but everything else is higher. Um, I'm looking forward to doing the CD ladder so you guys can see where I'm at. Um, and the reason I'm doing it by the end of the month is because the next month, all of my CDs have been open for the year. Next month, I can start adding to it. So I want you guys to see that progress. So stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions about my goals or work your apps off, please ask. I am an open book. Also, um, go follow me on Instagram. I would appreciate. And again, all my referral links will be down below. I would appreciate it if you would use my referral links if you choose to do these apps. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great week. And I will see you tomorrow for uh, Freebie Friday Frenzy. Bye.